joining me again. What we've got to do today is put a little shelf, a little a little catering shelf here for um, putting cups and things on when people buy stuff. So that's what we've got at the moment. It's just a straightforward lip to the counter. I've got a piece of uh, 80 mil angle and I've got some rubber uh, trims. So what I'm thinking is if I can mount with a couple of lugs to fix that to the side of that hatch there to take the weight. I've got a sheet here of three mil plate that can then sit on top of that. I fix that to that, put an aluminium edge trim on it, spray it the same colour as the van. Should do it, shouldn't it? Just as a nice little serving shelf. So if people put the coffees on, if they spill a bit on it, it's not going to be so painful as getting it all over the counter. It'll quick wipe off. Um, it'll be painted so it'll be nice and clean. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's see if we can mack all this up and yeah, a bit of higgledy piggled it. Let's make a shelf. First thing we'll do is just take some of the uh, sharps off the edges of this. Over to the Black & Decker work mate, look at that beauty, I've had this for years, it's a cracking bit of kit. We can get the file out and just just take them sharp bits off the corners so that it's got no really nasty sharp edges on it. I'm not sure he knows what he's doing with that file but uh, <laughs> look at that action look. Yeah, there we go. Bingo. Right, the next thing is then to mount some of this fixing tape. To uh, stop us scratching the side of the van. So I'm going to go for the thick strip on the bottom and the thin bit on the top. The thinner bit of this is four millimeter sticky back foam. I reckon I've had this in the garage for about ten years. It's got to be. I got it from the kit car show at Stonely when we were there. Glad I never threw it out because it's coming quite handy now. Perfect for this job. Going on the bottom edge. Yeah. The adhesive on it is super sticky. It's really taking well to this clean metal. I just work my way along, just slowly putting it down, trying to keep it in line. Because once it's down, you're never going to peel it off without destroying it. This is just some old foam I've had knocking around in the garage. I used a lot of this when I built a kit car. This particular strip is about 20 millimetres wide by about 5 millimetres thick, whereas the other one was more like 40 mil wide by say the 4 millimetres. Again, taking this time just to lay it down, peeling the back off as we go. It's really dense, it's a really good quality foam. We'll just finish that edge off there and then just trim it off with the scissors. Snippity snip. Sticky edges on. Look at that, lovely, lovely. That's not going to scratch the van now. We get out back to the hatch. And that should now sit nice, nice on there. Yeah, that's lovely. So all I need to do now is just bang a couple of holes. Well, I'm going to go for three holes straight through this aluminium angle and into the aluminium strip that's on the edge of the uh, the counter in the van so if I can get that through get it lined up and then them holes will be perfect for locating my pins through to uh, lock this plate into the uh, into the side of the van and because it's an L shape there's going to be just sideways motion on it so it's never going to just fall out once it's got the shelf on there it'll take a good amount of, of weight and pulling there we go, three holes straight through. Get the old Dyson on there. Qu quick clean up. Lift back off. So we've got three holes there to secure that now to the counter. Right, just need to make them slightly bigger. And then we'll thread them up so we can get those through. Right, let's move on to this piece of 3mm plate. I'm going to get the DA on there. It's great with a light grit on, uh, on the sponge just to take off this sharp edge all the way down 
it's quite a quick way of doing it rather than using a file and it's a lot smoother the finish is much better so i just whiz that along there get rid of all them sharps and uh, it'll give us something nice to work with we'll get that piece of angle now line it up to the back of that plate using that clamp we'll just clamp it with a couple of bits of wood and what i'm going to do is go through the two i've got these lovely little domed headed bolts there that are going to come through and act as pegs so uh, I'll go with them they're lovely and stainless as well so they're not going to give us any problems that's one what I'll do with that is I'll tap the thread out and I'll put a tap straight through that it's great working with the aluminium it's nice and soft it's it's extremely strong but it's nice and supple to work with so this tap is just going straight through it no problem at all just try and keep it straight and level as I'm pulling it through but it's cutting that thread out nice then that bolt will go straight through the two pieces of plate and uh, hold it all together there we go clean as a whistle just work it in and then bring it back out again and it will clean that up nicely as it comes back out it is nice like I say working with aluminium it's a lovely material as we just get to the end of this thread as I'm bringing it out I've got to be careful not to let the weight of the, the, the tap sort of pull it down and distort the thread at the top so I try and keep it level it's a bit fiddly but uh, there we go that'll keep all that intact let's do the other two every time I watch this back and I'm drilling through it I think I'm going to go through my hand <laughs> once again taps going through nice and steady I won't show you at all because it's going to get a bit tedious but I'll uh, show you a quick whiz on it and then the last one again we put that drill through these nice carbide drill bits got those from Amazon and um, really good price I'll put a link in the description got the Makita drill these are M6 bolts this is a little M6 thread these tap and die sets are really good these kind of little jobs if you want to put a cleaner thread I'll drop a link in the description again they're not that expensive always handy to have in your toolkit nice clean thread in there I'll also drop a bit of Loctite on these once they're in and that will stop them coming out and coming loose right. just wish that sash clamp out of the way wish I'm getting all my words all twiddled up and get rid of the bits of wood just uh, use them just to stiffen it up a bit I'll drop that last one through and then we can just try it and make sure that it's uh, it's going to sit into the counter I'm not going to go mad on them for now just enough to peg them in place we'll get a little screwdriver Once again, the old Milwaukee bit box shows an appearance. It is a cracking bit of kit. It's got so much stuff in it, and the times I use it, just saves like having 100 screwdrivers in your toolbox. So we'll just whiz these up. These are actually hex. These are like an Allen key. So normally I'm using the Torx bits in the Milwaukee box, but these are actually uh, Allen key bits now. So it has got an amazing selection in there. Mess up, mate. Is it going to go in? Is it going to be a success? Don't worry too much. Right. So the biggest thing is just lining them, them up, isn't it? <laughs> so how do I know where they are? That's the biggest question. Uh, 
suppose you can't see them from behind, can you? That's it. Don't fit. <laughs> it's close, isn't it? Oh, no, hang on. Oh, it's in. It's in. Wow. Do you know what? That's pretty damn solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no thank you. I won't get it out. You might just need to make them slightly bigger. Just give me a little bit of a wiggle room. Oh, no, it is. No, it is. No, you ain't getting yeah. that splash on that. That's one. it. That is flush on the I'm pleased with that. That's got, that's got plenty of gusto with it as well. And if you've got a coffee cup with coffee in it, well, yeah. it looks pretty level. Yeah. It looks pretty level. Where's the. Uh... Oh, look at that. That's going to be diamond, isn't it? And all we've got now is a piece of. Um, We've got some nice edge, edge to go over there to finish the end off. We'll come round, bring it round either side. Oh, we need some. We have to. I'll have to put some kind of marking so that we know where to line it up to. Maybe. So we'll figure that out. We'll get used to it. But yeah, let's get this. Uh, let's get this edging, edging on, um, and then finish that. Finish that off. Oh, what do you reckon? It's close, isn't it? We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. We are getting there. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's just try on that. Don't, don't whack it. it should do it. I'm going to have to make the holes just a tiny bit bigger. A little bit of wiggle, and it's away. Just give them. I think that's fine. You don't want them too big because you don't want it to be moving around when it's in. You want it to be tough to get into. It's like flush. Look, I want to make the holes bigger. Get that drill in there. Give it a wiggle. That's what it needs. It needs a bit of wiggle. I think just making them slightly bigger is just going to help us out. We don't want it to be too difficult. I know, it, yeah, we don't want to go too mad, but then we don't want to make it too difficult. He's like Mrs. Mott with that Dyson Hoover. Worried about getting all these uh, dusty wood cuttings in his van. Old El Capo. <laughs> <laughs> Done a grand job, mate. Grand job. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is go for a bit of no nails, bang that, screw through, and hopefully that should all hold that in place. This is completely over the top, but then why not? I've got a tube of it in the garage, so I thought I'd whack it on there. It's going to stiffen it up if nothing else. That three mil plate will just, yeah, stick to that beautifully. If I can line it up and get it on there without getting the glue all over me. Hopefully I've not put too much on there that it'll all ooze out everywhere when I, when I put the bolts through. But it shouldn't do. This is the Unibond stuff as well, it's um, it's all weather and it really does grip well. Well that's a face look, look at the concentration. Concentrating, putting these bolts in. <laughs> Somewhere there, put a bit of hair around it. There it is, yeah, lined up, beautiful. And that last one on the end. It's looking nice though. Really pleased with it so far. Right. 
So if I just drop a little bit on these threads as I'm uh, putting them in, that will then obviously lock tight these, these bolts into that aluminium. It ain't coming out. Just whiz them up now. Yeah, that's really took nice. It's pulled up nice. Two. Oops. And the last one, which I've now got my bit of wood in the way. I don't know, I can just crack that off a little bit. And just move it up a tad. Just like that. And do that one up as well. Bingo, lovely they are, really nice and tight. Right, now we can put his trim along the top and we'll get that bit sorted. Right, okay, so let's get some angles done. What I've got down here is the little uh, Elu saw. So let's just mark it out where we want to be. The first cut is coming in 45 degrees, so I just need to take off the top edge there. So what we need to do is just crank this over to 45 degrees. Just there like that. And then we're gonna take that edge, make sure that's nicely back in there. And we're gonna come right in with that to that edge. So I'll get splatted. Right, there we go. I put my glasses on just to stop these uh, little flakes of metal sticking me in the eye. I won't want to get them out. And there you go, look, a really nice 45 degree cut. So that's the first one in. I just tidy that with a bit of, uh, just take off the sharp edges again with the file. Don't want to take too much off because you don't want any gaps, but just cleaning it up. both edges on both sides beautiful yeah it always helps if you get it on the right way around ah that looks better right let's sort out the corners same thing again get the old saw on do them 45 degree cuts it's really good for doing these angles because you can't get it wrong. Famous last words, hey, hey, and keep watching. <laughs> and I'll just round that off with a nice angle <laughs> using the coffee cup. And then that'll sit on the end there. Beautiful. What a bit of kit, what a bit of kit. It does like that Milwaukee axle. And we'll just file that back again, get the sharp edges off it. Now we've got a nicely rounded bit on the end of there. 45 on the other side, all looking nice. Quick scribe, coffee cup again, and then use the hacksaw. I had to change the blades in this hacksaw. The metal blade, the thin tooth one, was too fine. I had to put the, the coarse metal blade in it for the aluminium, and uh, that worked really well. The thin one was just getting blocked up. The teeth were just taking, taking the metal in. I did also try a Bosch jigsaw with an aluminium blade in it, and the three mil was just too much for it to, to cut through. This stuff, oh, it's great to peel off. I don't know what it is. Just peeling this plastic off, it, it just mm, so nice and shiny underneath. Look, getting a bit anal now, but uh, I do. <laughs> it's that just beautiful clean metal underneath. Look, it's like mirror finish. It's almost like you're the first person to discover this piece of metal. 
Like I say, it's great to work with. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's that bit off. And we'll get the trim on that. If you watched a few of the other videos, we use the rivet gun and the rivets. One, one a <laughs> Let's get going. We well, you know, have done some riveting on this project. The vans took a lot of rivets, <laughs> but they're great. You know, they're quick and easy. A great clean way of putting this stuff together. Just clean those burrs off before we put the rivets through, front and back. Just make sure they're looking nice. Can anybody spot the mistake yet? Oh, you know it's coming. It's right in front of you now, if you can see it. I didn't. <laughs> but they look nice. They've gone in well. Right then. Let's uh, get this out of here. I've just got a little bit more of the blue to peel off. See if it fits. What drain? Looks alright, doesn't it? Let's see if it goes on. Oh no, I'm going to cockle. Oh no. The sides, the sides. I've gone too deep. Balls. Uh, oh well. <laughs> what a balls up that is. I've got to chop them back. Get them wrong. <laughs> uh, right, okay. What a fail. First fail. Fancy not noticing that. Oh, so hopeful as well. Back to the drawing board. Let's get the saw out. Hacksaw to the rescue. <laughs> Go on, get it off there. This thing don't mess about though. It'll soon hide my multitude of errors. Ain't that one of the sayings? A decent tool hides a multitude of errors. Yeah. Or is it a good workman? I'm not sure. It's definitely not a good workman. <laughs> I think it's tools, a tool. Look at that, get the file and the axle on there and... Well uh, done. Yay. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Yeah, you see, if I'd not have told you, you'd never have known. I'm letting all my secrets out. What do you mean? Right, second time we'll get. And the funny thing with this was, I'd set myself a challenge because the van was going out tomorrow for its first day out on the road. I'd got to get this shelf fixed and I'd got to get the rotating chair in, in a day. That's what I set myself. So I'm kind of rushing a little bit, trying to get this done so I can get onto the rotating passenger seat. But there you go, rushing, rushing, you see, making silly mistakes. I should have just took my time and probably would have done it quicker. Never mind, never mind. It all worked out in the end. If I can get this to uh, just locate him properly. Oh, there we go. It's a bit tight. It's a bit tight it is. What's that one there? That one there. Yeah. He's down. <laughs> it's a bit tight. I'm sure it'll uh, loosen up as we uh, take it on and off. But it's on. And it is strong. It is really strong. Let's pop you out of here and show you what's going on. So, there we go. We're there, we're down. 
we're in at the bottom there look that's lovely isn't it it's really nicely hooked in at the bottom all the way along there onto the rubber we've got nice corners i've beefed the corner up with a little bit of bar inside all the way along it does go under the till so it's it's a good fit it's a really good fit and it's down there so I'll just get these little bits of plastic off of here and then we can paint the thing there so we'll spray it and get it looking really nice it's not bad let's have a laugh at how easy it comes off hopefully it'll come off easy and it goes on because I can pull it from the side so It's a shame about that. I might just have to take a tiny bit out of the back to get past that till because that is that is just interfering slightly. We didn't have that problem when we first did it, did we? I don't know. It's not bad. It does come out, so yeah, I've got a bit of glue off the rubber. It's got a bit of glue just stuck to the back. That'll come off again in time. Uh, let's um, let's paint the thing. Let's get it painted up. I must apologise now for to uh, John Blackthorn. He always tells me to put a mask on. I think he actually did say that uh, your lungs all look the same colour as whatever you're spraying. But I can't be doing with it on this little jobs. Just these little like this. It just into oh, it just gets it gets on me work having the mask on. So uh, I really do apologise. It's not a good it's not a good thing. But look, I'm just blasting a bit on. It was done in a minute, wasn't it? It was done in a minute. And look how well it's going on. It's it's absolutely this paint. This two pack paint is just it's fantastic. Straight on. I'm dusting it to to start with. I'm just giving a nice dust coating, nice and faint. And then I'll just build it up. Again, the temperature today is about 25 degrees. It's pretty warm. I've also got the Firefly heater up there, look, just on the left-hand side, which is um, infrared, baking this paint, making everything nice and hot as it's going on. And we just slowly work our way over it. Up and down, up and down. Again, this is the SATA HVLP gun. It runs at around about 43, 45 PSI makes a lovely job it's a really good gun i've given that a couple of minutes to uh, go off and i'll just spin it over so i can do this uh, do this top surface now yeah something like that now i'm going to dust this again but i want to give this a really good coating a nice finished coat so a really thick coat on there but um like i say we'll dust it first get a nice base base on there to give us something to go to like I say, the surface is nice and warm as well, so this paint's just sticking to it like glue. It's really going on well. And it's going to look super because it's all the same colour as the van. So I'll just slowly put a bit on, just get it going, let it go off a little bit, and then uh, we'll give it a good coat over the top. To be fair, it's almost going, it's almost going off the minute it hits the metal. It's, uh, it's that warm today. Especially with that heater on as well. Just trying to work to the wet spot now. I'm going to give that a uh, bit of hot air blow on it as well. Just to help it dry down a bit. We don't want any runs. Get the edges done. Help bake it on. And we'll just leave the uh, the Firefly heater on there, infrared heater, to dry that out. Get it nice and hard. Right, let's go and get the, uh, the shelf. Let's have a look. Here we go. So we'll get that shelf and try and locate it in. <laughs> Don't want to scratch that new paint off. Be real gentle with it. Can't find the hole. 
I'm gonna have to mark this somehow so you can see it because it is a bit tricky trying to find that first hole and we definitely don't want to get it in the second before the first no no <laughs> There we go, all colour coded, finished off nicely. Bro. Well, there we go, shelf's all done, ready for the uh, ready for the customers. It looks really nice, it looks really tidy and clean, so we're pleased with that. I'll put all the links in the description for all the bits I've used, the saw, the rivets, the rivet gun. If I can find the stuff, I'll pop the links in. Um, if you enjoyed that one, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.